This week, we head into the first declared wilderness area in Victoria, Big Desert. This arid and untouched wilderness is the ultimate 4x4 and camping destination. This is one of those spots that you'll want to add to your list. absolute blast out here in the desert so come with us as we start this episode off in a way that is becoming more frequent well what a way to start an episode we've started it in true Elnick style <laughs> We were literally just scoping out this free camp and we just went to do a Yui and we are stuck. Oh dear. How do we go, big boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're on the diffs. Both of the front, yeah, front one's on it too. Yeah, so what does that mean? The shovel's gonna get them work out. We've gotta let the tires down again. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we're just turning around to go check out another campsite for the night. But welcome. This episode, we're um we're at currently this is Lake Albacaccia. <laughs> and um, we're trying to do Wildfield National Park and the big desert, some four wheel drive tracks and get um, warmed up ready for the simo. Yeah, but well this is warming us up. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna get some max tracks and Well this was not meant to happen. No. We weren't even supposed to be filming today. This is just supposed to be a Leisurely afternoon. Yeah, well, it's not leisurely now. Go and let those tyres down. Second episode in a row, we've let the tyres down. <laughs> What's happening to us? <laughs> We're going good. All right, well, we'll let these tyres down and see if Suze can crawl out of this. As soon as we mention the word bolt, the boys are out. Out there with their own little trucks, trying to get Susie out of the bog. What do you think of Daddy getting us stuck, Lou? <laughs> Is it funny? This was a classic case of tyre pressures. So we let the tyres down, put some max tracks in front of the big girl, and the boys took their seats, ready for the show. Boys, do you think Dad's gonna get out? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, are you watching? Yes. Okay. Alright, here we go. Tire pressures, see, they do make a difference. Woohoo! Get the max tracks, boys. Yeah. That wasn't a bad rooftop view, was it? No, it was beautiful. Yeah. This spot is awesome. For a donation camp, it's unreal. It's bloody gorgeous. Out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it was nice to come and see a bit of water actually after a little bit of a bogging. Yeah, we were the only ones here, but they have a toilet and yeah. it is kept pristine. Yeah, and there's little water taps and all that. It says not drinking, but the boiling and all that, they're yeah. washing up. Beautiful. Yeah. But it's like on a lake right next to some canola fields. Um, I don't know, it's just, a, I don't know, it's weird. It's just a diamond in the rough. Yeah, it's what we like. <laughs> <laughs> this campsite is called Turkey Bottom Lake. And what an awesome spot. We had it all to ourselves for just a donation. This was the perfect starting point for our big desert adventure. Our off-road adventure started at the northern end of Lake Albacaccia. And Elena was first up in the driver's seat. Go, go Zeus, go Zeus. Ah! <laughs> oh God! Nick's just running with the GoPro next. Ah! Is this fun, boys? <laughs> Woo! That was fun. The 
sand soon gave way to dirt. This track runs straight through the middle of the lake. The last time this lake was full was in 1975. It was a weird feeling driving on a road that could one day again be underwater. After a bit of rain last night, there was a few sticky sections to watch out for. <laughs> you are an asshole, and ya? <laughs> what a. <I'm... laughs> you put me. You put me in the prickles. <laughs> There's prickles everywhere. Ow! It's what happens when you let Alanya drive. Oh, Vanny's copping a flogging, so is the truck. <laughs> Go easy on me truck. <laughs> it's fine. In the front of her. I don't know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they want to get in on some four drive action too. But we've had to pull over because the big girl, big mama, <laughs> starting to get a bit hangry. She started putting the truck into a few trees. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I am hungry though. What are you cooking us? Bacon and eggs. Ooh, bacon and eggs sambo. <laughs> yeah. So it's freezing. Have a go at this. <laughs> Look how gross they are. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Everyone doesn't know how much of a grub we have to be. <laughs> anyway, Nick is a bit hangry, I reckon, too. And I really stirred him up this morning because I gave him a cup of tea instead of his norm coffee. <laughs> she ruined me routine, eh? I'm just out of sorts. <laughs> Ever since then, it's just been off the day. Anyway, I'll feed you up, big fella. The boys are having a ball, eh? They are. <laughs> How'd it go, big fella? You redeemed yourself. Not a bad bacon and egg and a coffee. <laughs> oh, you got a smile back on your face now. <laughs> if, if Lennox stops crying. Lennox, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Don't you like mum's bacon egg roll? <laughs> oh no! So we've turned off onto Milmard Rock Track now uh, to cut up towards the uh, big sandy sand dune. But have we got the track? She's um, hoop de hoop. This section of the Milmard Rock Track skirts along the outside of the desert, and the track turns from sand to mud pretty quickly. Vinny, what happened? Are you stuck? Yeah. Your nice boots. Yucky boots. Yucky boots now. Um, no, you're stuck. You've got to stay there forever. Well, we've come to a bit of an obstacle here. And it's one of those ones where you can't go either side to get round of it because on the left hand side there's branches coming out and too big for us to mow down. Oh, <laughs> oh I know he was trying to get in. Oh, he's trying to push him out. Oh! oh. <laughs> <Benny>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, we'll clean them. Yeah. Anyway, we can't go around it because we're not. We're too wide for the right-hand side, and if we go to the left-hand side, we're going to get clipped up with sticks. So we're going to have to sort of go straight through it. And uh, let's see how we go. <laughs> What happened here, Mitch? 
<laughs> what did Mum say? No more paddles. <laughs> you wanted to be like Susie. <laughs> we don't have a washing machine, mate. <laughs> the Milmud Rock Track soon cut into the heart of the desert, crossing June after June. Go big mama, go big mama. <laughs> go! Thank you. <laughs> She's pretty tight. We went down a track. Ooh, maybe we shouldn't, huh? But that's alright, that's why we buy these off-road caravans and trucks and all the fun gear so we can just take it out in the bush and have a good old time. <laughs> I just got in the car, and what did you say? <laughs> we got a transmission overheating light on. Would have been when we were in there just messing around. Not No airflow or anything. So, we're just going to have to sit here with it in neutral for a little bit and let it cool down. Then we'll be back on the road. Will we? Hopefully. Oh dear. <laughs> it's all about the adventure. Yeah. Well, I think just because the air's not going through and you sit there doing the tight tracks and... That's what you think. Putting it down to. He doesn't really know. <laughs> it sounds good, but... Yeah. <laughs> Time was getting away from us on this track and it seemed every corner we turned, there was another obstacle thrown in our way. This is what happens when Alenya is getting over driving and a little bit hungry. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Holy Jesus! Alenia only knows one speed and it's just flat stick. <laughs> oh, she is a crack up, eh? I just got back in the truck and all you said, you yeah, repeat it. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> what was the other thing? <laughs> I closed my eyes when I went through it. <laughs> I couldn't do it, that was scary. Did it go deep? <laughs> yeah, you because you just fed it. <laughs> anyway, that's Alenia's hot tip for a driving tip. Just fang it and close your eyes. Close your eyes and fang it. <laughs> you, you just don't know what's happening. <laughs> we just think, go on. I'm scared, I think. <laughs> oh no, you'll be right. All right, we come to sort of the last one. I think we're gonna sand you and we're gonna film on this. And there's two, two lanes you can take, either the right hand, which looks easier, or the left hand. We're gonna take the, I mean, sorry, the right hand that looks harder. Uh, we're gonna take that one, um, and that's probably gonna be the last June we're gonna film, because it's, yeah, it's four o'clock now. <laughs> we gotta get to it. We still got a, f a fair bit of track to go. So we're gonna give that a go, see if we can get up it in one shot and uh, go from there. What well, I've learned with the truck so far is you don't necessarily have to hit things with speed. This thing is just seems to crawl up things, which I guess is good in the uh, sense you don't break as much. So you don't have to give as many pickies. But as you'll see, it is a bit more like this. The GoPro does a good job of hiding it because uh, it's got that stability control. Baby girl. Baby girl. Yee. Tell us some info, big fella. All right, this is Milmud Rock, and that's obviously what the track is named after. And it's just a 
It's rock. not even a big rock, it's just a rock. <laughs> like, is that, come on, over here. <laughs> That's Melbourne Rock. Woo hoo! <laughs> but I guess why it's like, uh, I don't know, uh, attraction or whatever out here is because the, this whole place is sand. And then you just got the, this rock. Visitor's book, eh? Oh my god. We're gonna put our. Just be careful what you're touching in there, yeah. big fella. Hide your light. Yeah. It's a full great northern, that. Look at that. Oh, a bit of Panadol. Oh, poor, poor. It's a pretty good idea, or Sharpie. To oh, say. Cool, someone's. Oh, that is a picture. What are you going to write? Elnick was here. <laughs> here in 2023. So if you find that, shoot us a message. What a ripping idea, actually. Now, what think, do you think of Melbourne Rock? I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's just a rock. Yeah. <laughs> but. Oh. <laughs> you climbed it. You climbed Milmud Rock, you actually don't get that bad a view from oh. Milmud. Oh my. It's just flat. <laughs> <laughs> flat desert. Yeah. Anyway, I reckon we're only still only halfway, or maybe a bit over halfway. It's 4.36. This is a big desert. <laughs> <laughs> yep, long day. The boys have been so good. They've got their iPads now. That's why they're not with us. You'll never get them off that now. <laughs> but uh, onwards to camp. Onwards to camp. See you later, Milmud Rock. With only being halfway through the track, we still had a long drive ahead. Keeping in mind our max speed on this track was about 20 k's an hour. In a few of the dunes, we had to have a couple of attempts at it. Go, 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 we're right there. <laughs> go! Go, Zeus. Yes! Yes! Woohoo! Yes, Susie! <laughs> oh. We did it, boys! I feel like this is the never ending track. We were in for a bit of night driving. We finally pulled up, it's four past seven, and um, we're all sleeping in here tonight. A bit of breakfast for dinner, Vinny, <laughs> honey. Some Cheerios. Some Cheerios. <laughs> yep. It's been a big night, so uh, we'll see you in the morning. Is it a coffee this time, Helena? It sure is. I need one too. <laughs> what time did we end up getting in? 7.30 last night? Yeah. 7, 7.30. You didn't get to bed till like 9. Yeah, I know. The boys are running amok. Bit of cereal for breakfast. Ah, uh, dinner. Anyway, we're, we're perched up at this camp for today because we had such a big day yesterday. We're going to relax and stay here for today. Um, the sun is coming out, which is, we haven't seen that in a week. So that'll be nice. And, um... We're gonna have some cooking, some chilling, and he's got the TV set out with the Starlink. There's no service here. What's this campground called? Big Billy or something? Big Billy. Big Billy campsite, one of those. It's an, uh, not a national park, it's a state forest. It's a free one. So um, anyway, we're gonna chill out today and see what happens. <laughs> oh, you got it. Good boy. <laughs> it's nice to slow down sometimes and have days like this around the campfire. Lennox wanted to do his own cooking show for you and cook some brownies. You can crack it on the side there. Oh, it's hot. Oh, there we go. Good work. Oh, that's a one-hander. <laughs> Lennox, that is the biggest spoonful ever. 
Shall we put it in the camp oven? Does it taste good? <laughs> oh, he's stopping Sam. Junior. Quick men run! This camp might just seem like a sand pit, and a lot of people may overlook these camps, but watching the boys play and cook on the fire makes these spots all that more special. So, with everyone else having a go on the fire, it was my turn. Right, Nick. Bend over and touch your toes. <laughs> <laughs> with the new gloves. Yeah, welcome to Elenia's Gourmet Cooking with my new gloves. How do they feel? <laughs> <laughs> we got, oh, <laughs> don't even have my fingers in. So, today I've got a banger for you all. Look at a go. New camp oven. Lamb shanks in the camp oven. So, this is the easy, easy part, believe it or not. We seared our lamb shanks. When I say we, I mean Nick. <laughs> don't know what seared means. <laughs> I'm guessing like sort of cook it, I don't know. Anyway, they're going in my camp oven. We're gonna put our um, chopped up onion. <laughs> oh, the old folding hand will get you every time. <laughs> French onion soup. We all know we love a good packet mix. Don't forget the good stuff. And you better be generous. If you've got kids, you, the more the better. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna put Nick on to um, looking after that for the next four hours, because I don't have four hours. <laughs> okay. On to the next bit. Jesus, she's a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick, over to you, big fella. We're nearly ready, Nick said, and I need to do the other part of dinner. And this is the tricky part. So I wanted to introduce you guys to Deb. <laughs> she is awesome. Instant mashed potato. And you literally do this. You're supposed to measure, but who measures nowadays? Half a cup. <laughs> yeah. And I've got some boiling water boiling on the fire. Come on. Wait, I need my other glove. <laughs> Ow. You've only got one glove. <laughs> if you can hear Finney in the background, he's stuck up the tree. Do you want to get out, big fella? All right. You literally pour your hot water into Deb. Give her a mix. Definitely not enough. <laughs> so she's nice and smooth. She's getting mashed potato like. <laughs> Jeez, it's a vigorous stir. <laughs> You've yeah. got to be with Deb. She's tough. Very really stern with her. Yeah. A bit like you. <laughs> That's why we get on so well. <laughs> and that's a nice consistency if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Deb's done the job. Now let's get the shanks out. Now let's see. <laughs> oh, that's falling straight off. Oh, oh, big boy. Look at that fall off. And while I was busy, I asked Nick to cut up some um, veggies for me. Thanks, Nick. And we just chucked them in. So we've got some carrot. The boys don't get any meat. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Yum. All right. Righto, moment of truth. So Nick cooked some bread today and he did so well. <laughs> yeah, so we got homemade brash, bit of dab and the shank. Let's see how you went.
that. I'm gonna say, <laughs> it's probably some of the best cooking you've done. <laughs> and the dead's a good idea Megan. because if it were. There is a mozzie to fly. If Eleni did the mash without Deb, it would be lumpy. <laughs> what do you do? You get bored of mashing, it's lumpy. Anyway, That's why I found Deb. Deb's a winner. Deb is a winner. Yeah, and the shanks are good too. If you, ha if you haven't them. tried Deb, you need to get on to it. Over here, Gungi. Mm. Oh, you're good, y'all. Nine and a half. What's the half from? Well, I had to cook the shanks, so that's your half. Oh, you had to look at them every <laughs> so often. <laughs> I was busy doing other jobs. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm. That is awesome. It is. So we're having an early dinner tonight. And then there's a little walking track here, hey? I think to a lookout. Yeah, so we're going to go and check that out. So I'll have dinner. Finish these awesome lamb shanks. And go for a walk. You did well, doll. <laughs> <laughs> See you there. So normally we get to camp and depending on what's happening, we normally stay the night and move on the next day, but I am so glad along here we've stopped for the day, just relaxed, did some cooking on the fire and just took it all in because I think you just don't appreciate some of the camps you go to while you're in the moment. You just want to move on to the next thing. But honestly, I feel so much more relaxed and it's such a nice campsite. No one for the whole day and night was here and it was just awesome. This is, this is why we travel. <laughs> This viewing platform gives you 360 degree views of the whole desert. We had to pinch ourselves. These sorts of places that don't have the big name tags definitely fly under the radar. Do yourself a favour and get to some of these less known destinations, you will not be disappointed. Well, last night we all jammed into the nugget again because at about 10 o'clock, Ollie and I are in the rooftop and it was freezing. We come down and joined blankets all in one. Wasn't it cold? It was freezing. We wake up, there's ice everywhere. The truck's water tank was frozen. Drink bottles were frozen. The GoPro wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah. But now, like, the sun's up and we're in singlet. And Elena, she's running away. I was in blue first. <laughs> you have to change. No, I was in pink yesterday and I wanted to wear blue today. Okay. Change it up so we don't look ferals. Wearing the same clothes twice, eh? <laughs> I think I wore the same clothes for last week. Ew. <laughs> anyway, we're leaving this camp and there's one more destination, which is probably um, what we come here for. We've got to tick it off our little list. But we'll show you that when we get to it. Let's go. The next destination for us is a sand dune. A sand dune called Big Dune. And we've watched videos of people trying to conquer her, many failing. So we wanted to test the truck out to see if we could make it. It lies off the Delicioso track in the Big Desert State Forest. Well, we're here. A big dune. Now that may look small, but that is quite a big dune. So, yeah, it's 11.30. We're going to have a lunch, early lunch, and figure out which way we're going to attack that. No, it looks like three or four different routes we can take. I have a feeling the little van is coming off. I can tell when Nick's a bit nervous, and he's a bit nervous. Now he's he's gone to sit down and pretend he's not nervous. <laughs> Stop picking on me, eh? Are you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. Ooh, why big fella? It's a big buddy L, that's why, Lenya. <laughs> All right, lunch is over and we're up. We're just checking out which line we're gonna take. So there's one 
straight up the guts. There's one to the right and one to the left. The one to the left sort of gradual and then the last little bit's a hump. And the one with the right could be an option, but it's just a little bit steeper. The one up the guts looks like it's just a gradual thing all the way, which will probably suit the truck, I reckon. So we're just gonna <laughs> try. try up there. There's not much of a run up here either, so. Um, it's gonna be interesting. Anyway, we'll give it a go. Have you seen that nervous smile on his face? <laughs> <laughs> it is quite a big journey. It probably doesn't look like it in the GoPro, but it's quite steep. Full low, second gear. All right, Dar, we're ready to go. Alright, we're gonna take it off. They got baby! Gotta get the speed up. I'm gonna try this. Go Suze! Go Suze! Go Suzy! We had a few more attempts to conquer the big dune, getting a little further every time. But falling just short of the crest, this dune really is deceiving. With our tails between our legs, we hooked up the caravan, headed back, and to start the next adventure. Thanks to everyone for watching, we really do appreciate it. And to our Patreon community, we really do thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button so you don't miss out on next week's episodes where things don't always go to plan. <laughs>